welcome to Kotlearn. This video is part of a series where we're building Minesweeper with Compose Multiplatform. Whilst it's designed to be useful on its own, some parts of this video may reference earlier episodes. Be sure to check them out if you'd like to follow along from the start. The first step is choosing an IDE. You can either use JetBrains Fleet or Android Studio. Fleet is currently the recommended IDE to use by JetBrains, but for this series we're going to be using Android Studio. I'll leave links in the description for downloading either of these. Next, we need to set up our environment. Head to the Compose Multiplatform Setup page linked in the description to make sure that these steps are still up to date. We first need to install the Kotlin Multiplatform plugin for Android Studio. This can be found in the settings. Next, we can run KDoctor in the terminal. KDoctor ensures your environment has all of the required tools like a suitable JDK, Xcode for iOS and the Android SDK configured correctly. To install it, we can run the command shown on screen. Once installed, simply type KDoctor in the terminal and let it check your setup. If anything's missing, the tool will guide you through how to fix it. We'll use the KMP wizard available online to generate our starter project. Use the URL on screen or click the link in the description to get there. Once you're on the wizard page, fill out the project details and press to download your project. Open the project with whichever IDE you've chosen and examine the folder structure. The module for the application is named Compose App. Within this, the source code is split by platform along with a folder for shared code. Common main is where you write code shared across all platforms. Think of it as the core of your application, containing business logic, UI and shared resources. Android main is obviously for any Android specific code. iOS main is for iOS specific code such as Swift interop. Desktop main contains desktop specific configurations, so for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. If you look at the build.gradle file for the Compose app module, you'll see that there is a name provided to the JVM function. This is what's causing the folder in this structure to be named desktop main rather than JVM main. With Compose multi-platform, most of what you do will be within common main. You only need to use one of the other folders if you need to vary behavior across platforms. Dependencies are managed within the toml file found in the gradle folder. I'll leave a link in the description to how TOML files are structured, but in this case they're split into four parts. Versions, which hosts the versions of the libraries. Libraries, where the actual dependencies are declared. Bundles, this allows us to bundle libraries together for neater build.gradle files. And plugins, this is where we have the Gradle plugins. To save you time, I've already compiled all of the dependencies we'll need for this project, which can be found in the repository linked in the description. Reading down this list should be self-explanatory of what's going to be used in future episodes. There should already be configurations available for running the application on Android or iOS. To run on desktop, we'll need to create a new configuration. Navigate to the Edit Configurations window and add a new Gradle configuration. Type the command shown on screen, compose app colon run. After clicking OK, you should see this configuration in your list and can run the application on whichever platform you're currently developing on. We've successfully set up our Compose multi-platform project and explored its structure. In the next episode, we'll look at creating a clean multi-module architecture setting up our layers and organizing module dependencies to keep the project maintainable and scalable. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the next one.